Hello, I am Umber Nero, and welcome to Umber Nero's Life. Today's video is my December 2023 plan with me. So, like usual, the first area I worked on was my monthly calendar. The very first thing I wanted to do was do my cutting of the pages to give it a waterfall kind of edge and to round off the corners. And for December, originally I was going to go with like a mountains theme, but it wasn't quite working how I thought it would. So it turned into a pastel water fall. It became a very minimal layout, which it worked for me. So I officially call this style that I did for December a pastel waterfall edge minimal type layout because, you know, it's something I don't normally do. But other than that, I went added color to the tab that I cut it out that I cut out and I then outlined all the boxes for my monthly calendar with a gray Tombow just so that way it's a neutral color and it's not all dark went in with a dotted mark a dotting marker to put in the spots where I was going to write the days this month was mostly about just getting stuff done very minimal and i don't know why it turned into that probably because december is usually a busy month but once the calendar was all done i went and made up my key for the month and i used all pastel colors so it kind of makes sense why i did what i did but it's a very different layout style for me and you know I don't mind it but I used a variety of colors that didn't really look alike so that way I could easily tell at a glance what was what. So next is my monthly log, which I did the same thing as I did on the previous page. Except for I didn't have to cut out my tab because it was already done. And I gave it another bit of color on the tab so that way I could see where it was compared to the page before and all of that and that way I can easily see my quick reference title of what this page is. But my monthly log this month is very simple. It's just two columns that take up most of the page that I will fill in with all of the things going on this month, which I believe there's quite a few. So this should fill up for the most part. But like I said, this month ended up being very minimal on design and all of that. Mainly because, just thinking about it, it's been crazy and a lot of things have been going on but next I went and did my goals and things page so like I did on the calendar I had to cut out my next little tab and I decided here 
I was going to use a different color marker for this tab so that way when I was on the cover page of the month of December and looking I could see all the different tabs as I would go but then again I tried to round my corners so that way it didn't have the sharp points even though they don't really bother me much but getting my little corner punch to actually cooperate some days is a pain but it got the job done with some help sometimes So just like my monthly log, I went and made two boxes. One is for my goals, one is for my things that needed to get taken care of. And I figured this is the easiest way to do it because I am doing this new style that I really don't do. But you know, it'll work for me. I'm open to trying the new things. Next is my content plan. So first things first, I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to use it, but it should be usable. And like I have done previously, I went and I cut my next tab just so that way it was already taken care of. And that's where my little corner rounding punch was starting to act up a little bit but then I went in with my color and labeling my two tabs but I added in a calendar that is sideways on the left page just so that way at a ref quick reference I can look and be like all right what video is coming out what day considering I'm kind of doing my planning for end of year and next year currently and I'm just trying to figure out what is going to be the best pattern for me and then on the right hand page I'm going to use that kind of as a tracker to see all right are all of these videos done like my gaming videos because I kind of had a few times this last month where some gaming videos got posted late and even on this channel, uh, Monday's video was posted a couple hours late because I honestly forgot and I took a nap. So, so the next page is going to be my goals and resolution check-in and all I did here is I just made a big box on the page after I colored in my tab and I'm going to fill that in in a different video where I go and see how I did with my goals and resolutions for 2023 and that'll be an upcoming video on the channel might be in a week or two so you'll see how I ended up using this page then but I decided to add it into my December spread because I'm trying to wrap up everything here before I move into next year's journal. And what a better spot to wrap it up than the last month of the year because the final pages of the journal I'm currently using turned into planning pages for my 2024 journal.
So the next part that I worked on was my weekly logs. And I did three per page just to make it easier to give me space because of the amount of things that I'm hoping to get done this month. And I started them how I started all of the other pages that needed cutting. I went and did that first because it's one of the more tedious things to do and I felt getting it out of the way, rounding my corners, good way to start. And I'm glad I did it. And I actually broke the tip of my blade off while I was cutting this page and I was trying to figure out how I managed to do that. But, you know, that stuff actually happens at the weirdest times and that was the first time I've had that happen, especially while cutting paper. <laughs> but after I had the page cut and I rounded the corners, I went and added the color to the tabs, so each two-page spread kind of got a different color just because I wanted to use all the colors in my theme for the month, just because I wanted to. But December's weekly layouts are very simple, they're just three boxes on the page. And to the right of the boxes on this first page here, the dates are written. Just like how I've been writing in on the tabs what that page is. So then it was repeating this exact same process four more times. And you know, it took quite a while and just getting it done was very helpful because it's less to take care of later on and all of that. But I just went in and got all of that last little bit of cutting done in one go. Because I didn't want to keep flipping back and forth, back and forth. And then it was rounding the corners the best I could. On the one page, I just ended up using my blade to imitate a rounded corner. So that way I didn't actually have to try to do a weird cutting there. But then it was going through erasing and adding the color for all of the tabs. And I figured doing this all at once was going to make it a lot quicker later on. But December is usually a busy month. So knowing that, I just wanted to make it so I could get stuff done and taken care of a lot quicker. And this minimalist layout I ended up using. I'm looking at it now as I'm recording the audio for this video. And I'm going, you know, I'm glad I did this. Because <laughs> I have a lot of space to write. I have a lot of space to keep track of all of the tasks that are coming up. Like, closer to Christmas, I know I'm probably going to have a grocery list partially written 
within my boxes here. But that stuff happens. And this was also the first video I recorded using my new camera mount. So it's, I'm still learning how to use it. So there might be a few hiccups along the way, but stuff like that happens. And then as you can see on this last page there, I drew a single box because there's 31 days in December. And that last day, happened to fit on the last page along with my reflection section. So the last section is my reflection and I changed it up slightly this month because it's an area that will be growing going into next year. But the first thing I did was I erased everything that was on where my last tab would be and I added the color so that way you could see it from the first page of the setup. and. Figured might as well get that done, taken care of, and then it was drawing all the boxes for my reflection, which included my good things box, my box for improvement, my box for next month, which is the things for next month, and then my stats area got divided into three smaller boxes. The top one is personal stats, like how many books did I read, how many workouts did I do, and then stats for my two channels and like I said this area is going to change drastically next year because there's some things I want to do that are going to be different and I'm glad that they're going to be different. In all, I am very excited to use this layout. It's not my normal style, but you know, I'm up to try anything. So thank you for watching. And until next time, I am Umber Nero. Bye.